Think you know all there is to know about Hollywood's number one actor? Did you know he's a licensed minister? Watch this video to learn some new facts that you might not have known about The Rock. This probably shouldn't be all that surprising to you given his physique. The Rock played for the University of Miami where he helped the Hurricanes win the 1991 national title. It was at Miami that he was teammates with Hall of Famer Warren Sapp, who actually eventually took The Rock's position on the team. Sapp once said that The Rock was the type of guy you would want your sister to date. After Miami, The Rock played professionally in Canada for a bit, and when that didn't work out, he became a professional wrestler and was on the path to stardom. Fun fact, he donated $1 million to Miami football back in 2007, cause I'm sure that million dollars was burning a hole in his pocket. This shows he was dishing out ass whoopings well before his wrestling days. The Rock set a Guinness world record for taking selfies back in 2015 if you can believe that. To be clear, he didn't just get bored one day and started snapping pictures of himself. He was at the premiere of his 2015 film, San Andreas, where he managed to take 105 selfies in 3 minutes with some of his fans. Want to hear an even more impressive world record? He set the record for money made by an actor in his first starring role in a film for his role in The Scorpion King. He was paid $5.5 million! I guess that's chump change now since he got paid over $32 million for Fast Five. When The Rock made his debut as a professional wrestler in 1996, he followed in the footsteps of his father and grandfather. His dad was Rocky Johnson, a champion wrestler from Canada. His father became part of the first ever African American tag team to win the tag team championship in the history of the WWF. Also, his maternal grandfather, Peter Maivia, was a big shot wrestler in his heyday. Known as a flying Hawaiian, he developed a signature move called the Samoan Drop. In fact, old Grandpa Pete was part of the famous Anoa'i family who boasted wrestlers such as the Usos, Roman Reigns, Rikishi, and Yokozuna. In other words, I'd say family reunions are probably pretty interesting. As a frequent guest of the show, Screen Junkies, the Rock became a licensed minister in the state of California as a way to surprise one of the show's hosts. The details regarding that aren't really all that important. What is important is that theoretically, if you plan to get married in the Golden State, The Rock could legally perform the ceremony. I'm not sure how much he charged to do a ceremony, but I bet there's a way to convince him to do it if you come up with an amazing story. I can totally see him doing something like that for a fan since he's that nice of a dude. But you better come with that creativity. Okay, everyone knows The Rock's actual name, Dwayne Johnson, which of course he uses for his films now. But he's had some other nicknames as well. For example, when he first started out as a wrestler, he embraced his Samoan roots, calling himself Flex Kavana. He later called himself Rocky Maivia, which is a name that eventually morphed into a third-person version of his name now, The Rock. He actually didn't want to be called The Rock anymore back in 2006, but we see how well that's worked out for him. Kaluka Maiava followed in his uncle's college football footsteps when he earned a scholarship to USC. From 2005 until 2008, Maiava was a standout for the Trojans, earning the Defensive MVP award for the Rose Bowl's senior year. He was drafted by the Cleveland Browns and was eventually traded to the Oakland Raiders, who released him in 2014. Currently, Kaluka is a free agent. Does that mean there could be some sort of a Rock Jr.? Even though he was born in California, Johnson has dual citizenship in the US and Canada. His father, Rocky, is Canadian as I had said before, and in 2009, Canada changed their national policy to extend citizenship to the children of its citizens. How has Canada not claimed the rock? If I ran Canada, I'd for sure drive up the nation's testosterone and kick out Drake and adopt the rock. Is this a change in national policy? Or a thinly veiled attempt to steal one of America's national treasures? You be the judge. While he's funny as hell, let's face it. Dwayne Johnson ain't gonna be winning an Oscar anytime soon, but he can laugh along with Mayweather all the way to the bank with the 64 and a half mil he made this year, which makes him the highest paid actor in the world. 
That money can be attributed to mega hits such as Central Intelligence and San Andreas, and advances he got for Jumanji, Fast 8, and Baywatch, each of which are to be released in 2017. Actually, that money can be attributed to being the hardest working man in show business. You see what time this man wakes up in the morning on his Instagram? We all know that The Rock is an experienced actor at this point, but how did he make that transition over to the film business? It was when he first appeared in an episode of Star Trek Voyager back in 2000 as an alien wrestler. It was in this episode where he played a champion fighter that The Rock first began to make his crossover into acting. He played a futuristic fighter who just so happened to employ similar wrestling moves that The Rock did. He even did his signature eyebrow raise. And now we're at number one on this countdown about The Rock. But you know what you gotta do. Click on this little button right here. What really made The Rock into a mainstream star was being the host of SNL back in 2000. His quick wits, comedic timing, and charm made the episode a big success. And it was the success of that show that really led to him receiving offers to appear in films. He would go on to host the show again in 2002, 2009, and 2015. Here's what's next. Pictures that prove you have a dirty mind. 